I'm guessing if your readers are anything like my readers, they're always looking for the next great graphic novels to read. Like they've read all of the ones that we have and they're always looking for the next great one. So I have four amazing middle grade graphic novels that your readers are going to love. That's what we'll be talking about today. My name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you can be notified, follow it, whatever you do. Next time we share some awesome books. Let's start it off with Johnny Christmas's brand new book, Gamerville. You probably remember Johnny's book, Swim Team, which took kind of the world by storm, won a bunch of awards. It's a phenomenal graphic novel. He's back with Gamerville about this kid named Max Lightning who is obsessed with video games. It consumes his whole life. He's really, really good at this one really popular video game. He even qualifies for the championship of this game and he's really pumped to go. But his parents are like, nah, you're spending way too much time on video games. You can't go to that tournament in two weeks. You have to go to summer camp for a month. No screens, camp reset. He's like, what? So he goes, he's not real happy, wants to leave, realizes that the tournament is actually on the other side of the lake from camp reset. So he's trying to figure out a way to escape and go and participate in this tournament. And while he's trying to figure that out, he's actually kind of starting to like camp, kind of starting to make some friends, kind of starting to, to see these other things in life that he really likes. Kind of comes at crossroad. What is he going to do? It's a phenomenal book. I'll show you inside a little bit. I'll see inside. Yeah, so it's phenomenal. It's absolutely just stunning art. Amazing story. Gamerville is going to be one of the easiest sells of new graphic novels. I can't wait to see what kids think about this. I think they're really gonna like it. Next up, Wagnificent, The Adventure of Thunder and Sage. I think this is gonna be a series. Yeah, you see this little number one right here. So we got a series. We have these two are the most adorable dog owner, dog team ever. They are wild about each other. Um, Thunder is just the coolest dog, but Thunder's starting to get some urges, like the inner wolf in him is like the, like the little wolf is like sitting on his shoulder telling him he should do all these bad things. And uh, gets a little bit of trouble. Thunder and Sage have to work things out. It's really fun. You can see it's a pretty quick graphic novel read. Uh, yeah, I think the series is going to be blow up massive. I hope they make a whole bunch of them because, you know, a kid and their dog, like seriously. All right, this one, whoa, I, I have not heard of J.J. Patone, um, who uh, is the author of this graphic memoir. And it is the story of her... Uh, part of her childhood um, when her dad was incarcerated and her dad was incarcerated um, and, and they weren't able to like visit him. I think in the entire time he was incarcerated, she only went like two times, one or two times to see him. One was maybe like right away. And I think one was when he got a, a degree that he earned while he was, while he was in there. Um, and when he gets out, you know, they're trying to readjust as a family. They have to move to a new place. Um, but the dad like learned coding. That was like a big thing that he learned while he was incarcerated. And they create this thing together to help kids communicate with their parents who are incarcerated. And it's just like, wow, this is true. Like this is like really something that they did and help that they, oh, so that, it's not black and white. This is the advanced copy. So this is what it's gonna look like. The first few pages are in color. So uh, really another really quick read. It's only like 110, 15 pages, Dear Dad. Really eye-opening, really fascinating, highly recommend. Next up, last up. Wow, that was quick. Pizza Face. Rex and Dave are back. You probably remember um, Rex in uh, Four Eyes. That was sixth grade year. This is his seventh grade year, right? He's about to go back to school. He realizes he's got some pimples popping up. He really is in full force, and it's a struggle. Struggling with his friends, still the same issues that he's having. His family is is really living in poverty. So there's some, some things there. Can't really, he wants like zit cream and he can't afford it and uh, making some bad choices. The hormones are going, it's a, it's a wild one. It's a wild one, but man, this series. I'm hoping we get an eighth grade year from them too. So this book just came out and I already want another one. You know what that means? It's good. So hopefully you found at least one graphic novel to add to your to read list. I have four awesome ones here. Check them out. I'm sure that you'll find something for the readers that you serve in this pile. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.